variables are the underpinning of your applications. To create a variable in Kotlin, you'll use the var keyword, and then you'll provide the name of your variable. In this case, we'll call it full name, and then you set it equal to a value. Here, I'm setting it equal to a string value of Don Felker. We now have a variable called full name, and its contents are Don Felker. If we want to print this to the screen, we can use the println command, and then we can go up and run it from this play icon and hit run main KT. It'll compile as we can see down here, and the output will show as Don Felker. If I run this, we can see Don Felker and John Felker. We can also set this value tool to a variable that's empty and print this out as well. Even though we're not really going to see anything with a full name that's empty, we hit run here, we'll see just kind of an extra line break down here. Instead of one, see there's now two line breaks because we have an empty one here. And also working with variables, once we have access to them, we can start accessing properties of these variables. So let's say that we wanted to inspect some properties of the full name and we wanted to see if it was empty. We can say is empty, and that's a method that's on this property. So we can check to see if the full name's empty. I'm gonna hit Command B to go to the declaration, and we can see that it ret this method, which is called is empty, returns true if the char sequence is empty. So a char sequence, a string, if this is empty, it's going to return true, otherwise false. So if we run this, we'll get Don Felker, John Felker, a blank line, and then we're going to see the word true. So we'll run that here. And then you can see in the window down here that we see Don Felker, John Felker, blank line, and true. The key thing to remember with variables that use the word var is if you need to change them, if you need to change your variables at any time, you'll want to use a var. So if we can set age equals 32, we can reset it and there's not gonna be any problems whatsoever. Now notice one additional thing. If I were to type the word var again on age, we get a red squiggly line. And what this says is there's conflicting declarations, meaning we cannot define the, the variable age twice within the same scope here, which is inside this main function. So if I wanted to reassign it, I wouldn't say var again, I would just simply say age equals 32, and then I can reassign it. I can also print this out to the console as well and type in age and we'll see that the age is going to print to 32. We just initialized it with 30, reset it to 32 and now it's going to show as 32. One final note is that the age variable was also implicit to an integer. So again we did not specify a type. The compiler was able to determine based upon what we set this to that the value is an integer.